Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about uh, understanding of lexical analysis phase. In our last classes, we already discussed about phases of compiler. This is our first phase in our compiler. So we will understand what are the responsibilities that are taken care in lexical analysis phase. Please watch our previous classes and come back here. This is a continuation class. So please watch them and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. So lexical analysis phase. Let's take an example and understand. This is our program which we have taken. This program is given as input to the lexical analysis phase. So we are choosing here the language C language. You can choose any language for any, any language. We have to give this source program as input to the lexical analysis phase. So this is what the input taken by the lexical analysis phase main Bra uh, open brackets closed brackets and the output that is going to be generated by the lexical analysis phase is uh, so this is the output uh, see it has to read the characters one by one m a i n separate it so main has been separated like that we have to separate the next symbol what is that open bracket symbol separate it closed bracket symbol you have to separate that next in the next line it has seen the flower bracket yes we have to separate that in the next line it has seen the int int separate it after that it has read the value i i is an identifier so whenever it has uh, read the identifier i it has to maintain a symbol table in the symbol table it, it will so not only lexical analysis phase all the phases will use the symbol table at this phase it is going to place i in a symbol table and it will assign the type of that uh, uh, type of that uh, variable we call it as variables variables function names all those things we call it as uh, identifiers uh, so these identifiers will be placed in symbol table i is of type int like that after that see that's why it has given the name i is an of type identifier that's why identifier in short we uh, it is taking it as id so id it is placed in the symbol table in the first line that is what the meaning of this id one in the symbol table this identifier has been placed in the first line next it has to read the next it has read the symbol equal to next it has read the value 20 see 20 has been read means we need we need to write the logic for all these things it has to identify the numbers it has to identify the floating point numbers it has to identify the string literals all those things uh, whatever there in your language for all of them you have to identify separately for that we have to design the program the programmatic intuition will be provided in our next classes in our coming classes in this class we will give some of the intuitions that help you in understanding better understanding of the what happens in the lexical analysis phase so like that we have to write uh, all the conditions required for our language if you if you chose c you have to write the all the conditions required for separating what what you need to separate that you have to write the logic that is what the program present in a lexical analysis phase so equal to next it has identified num so in short it is given as num we call it as number number 20 has been identified after that it has identified a comma after that it has identified the second identifier second identifier it is given as id2 it is placed in the symbol table in the second line j has been identified like that it this is taken as input and this is given as the output that is what the responsibility of a lexical analysis phase. Let's try to understand some of the responsibilities so that you will get better understanding. The phases of the phase of lexical analyzer want to do the, these things. Not only these things, there are so many things like that. You have these are some of the some of them to give you an intuition. First one is removal of white spaces and comments. It has to yes, we have done that. After taking this, we are not considering this white space see main after that we are taking brackets closed brackets uh, we are eliminating the spaces 
so the uh, spaces we, even if it is a tab space we have to eliminate that not only single space tab space also eliminated and comment should be eliminated uh, the second thing you have to do is count number of lines how many lines the program is what's the last line is like that uh, it has to maintain the count of number of lines uh, after that the third responsibility is uh, reading a head uh, what's the meaning of this reading a head means uh, see here one of the example is uh, greater than or equal to is a relational operator greater than is also a relational operator so in in our example if you start reading this after reading the greater than symbol you are not supposed to take it as greater than you have to go one step ahead means you have to check the next symbol also then you have to decide whether this is greater than or equal to or simply greater than that's why you reading a head in our example we are reading a head one symbol based on your language it may take two symbols it may take five symbols you may read a head five symbols like that it depends on your language how you have constructed the language based on that reading a head may be dependent for understanding purpose it is one symbol ahead we have to read as one symbol ahead so next one is a reading constants means we have to write the logics to read the constants 20 20 is a constant uh, integer constant 20.2 is a floating point constant so we have to read this 20 we have to separate them F from this point you will understand one important point which we learned in our c language in our c language we have we have learned about the conditions that uh, variable name should not be start with digit this condition is there variables names should start with the character why it has to start with character see here if if you eliminate this condition variables names can start with the digits also then it is difficult for the compiler to see it is difficult to read the compiler the compiler the logic in the compiler is it's difficult to identify if it starts with digit whether it is a variable name or it is a constant it is difficult to identify that's why variable name should not start with the digit if after reading equal to if you find two means uh, compiler will decide that our programming law what uh, programming logic will define and uh, decide that okay i am reading a digit uh, variable name should be started with a character or special characters that are allot allocated for variables uh, underscore and dollar symbol can be used that's why this condition because uh, it is difficult to identify constants and variables in a uh, when in the compilation phase uh, that's why it, they made this condition so next one is we have to identify keywords and identifiers keywords means if is a keyword int is a keyword float is a keyword identifiers means uh, array names uh, variable names and uh, function names all these comes under the identifiers we have to separate them keywords should be separated identifiers should be separated and this is also the responsibility of the lexical analysis phase. Next, we have to identify literals. String literals are there. In our example, in our example, see this quotations wherever it is hello is a string literal. We have to identify that. So wherever you are having double quotations, closed double quotations, in between we are having a string literal. We have to identify that string literal. It is considered it as one set. Literals will be considered. Next, like that, we have to identify comparison operators less than, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. Like that, all the operators should be identified. Whatever the uh, symbols you that are present in your C in your language based on the language we have to write the conditions these are few of the conditions uh, the programmatic intuition will be provided in our next coming classes hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you